What is up guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day, and on this channel, I talk about cybersecurity. In this video, we're going to be doing a review of the CompTIA CYC Plus and Blue Team Level 1. More like a comparison between both, because I've had a lot of people ask me, um, is the CYC Plus harder than the Blue Team Level 1? Is the Blue Team Level 1 harder? Or is one better than the other? So in this video, I'm going to be addressing all those questions, kind of giving you my thoughts and my opinions about these two certifications, which one I recommend. Or which one i recommend you do or in what order i recommend you do the certifications so let's get into it we're going to start with looking at the cyc plus i have taken the cyc plus um i took the cyc plus um middle of last year uh, 2021 and I, I made a video about that so definitely check that out um, i'll leave a card to it somewhere up here and the link to all of my certification videos in the description um uh, also for con for context i failed the cyc plus in my first attempt so um just kind of so you kind of know where I'm coming from in terms of these certifications. But uh, this is the CompTIA CYC Plus. Um, according to CompTIA, it is an IT workforce certification that applies behavioral analytics analytics to networks and devices to prevent, detect, and combat cybersecurity threats through continuous security monitoring. So why is it different? CompTIA CYC Plus is the only intermediate high stakes cybersecurity analyst certification with both hands-on performance-based questions and multiple choice questions. That's in fact not true. That's not true at all. CISO Plus focuses on the candidate's ability to not only proactively capture, monitor, and respond to network traffic findings, but also emphasizes software and application security, automation, threat hunting, and IT regulatory compliance, which affects the daily work of security analysts. That's kind of true. CISO Plus covers the most up-to-date core security analyst skills and upcoming job skills used by threat intelligence analysts, application security analysts, compliance analysts, incident responders and handlers, threat hunters, and bringing new techniques for combating threats inside and outside of the SOC. That's also true. But this statement about them being the only intermediate high-stakes cybersecurity certification with hands-on performance-based questions and multiple choice questions is not true. Well, I guess the part of it being um, multiple choice questions uh, because the blue team level one is a uh, high stakes cyber security certification and uh, covers way more um, and you know it does you a better gives you better better in terms of learning um, and applicability than the CYC plus but we'll get into that later so about the exam so I don't want to go through all of this but essentially you're uh, leveraging intelligence and intelligence and threat, threat detection techniques you're analyzing and interpreting data, you're identifying and addressing vulnerabilities, and you're suggesting prevent preventative measures and effectively responding to and recovering from incidents. But you're doing all of these through multiple choice questions. You're only answering questions about all of these. Like you're only selecting A, B, C, D uh, to answer these questions. However, Security Blue Team makes you do this in a practical format. So your certification, uh, in the certification, you do all of these things. You, you have to, uh, you know, understand like you. You have to do like threat analysis and detection. You have to analyze and interpret the data you're you're analyzing, the threat the threat data you're analyzing. You have to identify and address vulnerabilities. You also have to suggest preventive measures, effectively respond to and recover from incidents. And all of these are covered in the Blue Team Level One um, course, which I have done an in-depth review of. Uh, so if you're looking to learn more about that i'll leave a card to that video somewhere up here so you can learn more i also have done a review of the CISO plus so definitely uh i'll also leave a card to it if there's no card all of these videos are going to be in the description in playlist so definitely look out for them but um if we look at blue team level one i don't want to go too deep into it and i want to make this video as short as possible and straight to the point blue team level one is way better than the cyc plus in terms of what you learn and the applic applicability the cyc plus um, you are only paying paying for the certification. So, the how much does it cost? Let's see, it costs about three seventy dollars. So you're only paying this three seventy dollars for certification. The training is not provided with the certification, right? Um, it's uh how many questions? I don't think it's really it's usually like seventy five to ninety questions. A maximum okay maximum of eighty five questions. But this three seventy dollars you're you're not paying for training. You have to go to external sources like maybe like Jason Dion or um like plural side for training um and do your own labs by yourself or pay come to you for training which is pretty expensive come to your training is you know expensive in my opinion for the course however blue team level one is a little more pricey um it's about 
say so that's 399 let's plug that into google it should give us a dollar amount it's 540 so it's 540 dollars but you're paying for the course the certification and also a free retake um, and this course covers a ton of things it covers like practical labs and everything like that and the certification itself is practical it's a 24-hour practical certification compared to a compared to a i missed that page just now all right there we go compared to a 165 minute test that you are only paying for you know taking the test Compared to the compared to that, the Bootin Level One gives you the training, the course resources, support, labs, hundred hours of lab time, um, access to the training for four months, um, and really really quality training, really quality training, and a twenty four hour incident response scenario where you have to apply all of these skills, not just answer multiple choice questions. Um, so it's quite obvious which one is the better option. The Bootin Level One is the better option. However, Comtia has clout in the industry. Comtia has the big name, right? They have the their name with the A plus, Network Plus, Security Plus. Um, Cyber Plus is not as popular, I have noticed, but it's still CompTIA, so it's of course gonna have that cloud that comes with CompTIA. But I'm pretty sure Security Boot Team is gonna get bigger by 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 over time, especially in the United States, and gonna be a much more applicable and much more uh, favorable certification for HR. Um, I still recommend doing the Cyber Plus, but I recommend doing the blue team level one first if you find value in the blue team level one and you no longer need to do size plus then you might as well save your money maybe spend it on something else but i recommend doing the blue team level one first because you gain more value you learn more and all of these things can then be transferred over to the size plus and you can use that for like a multiple choice you know question for multiple choice tests because now you have the practical skills and it's not just like memorizing information a lot of times when you when you when you're practicing when, you, when you're studying for multiple choice exams you you tend to memorize information um and learn like and you know do practice exams and stuff the bulletin level one bulletin level one is different because you, you there's you, you have to practically show what you've done you've you have to practically uh apply your skills not just answer questions based off of what you what you know so my opinion the bulletin level one is way better than the cyc plus um in terms of like job applicability because it's practical it's um in depth um and it tests you on the specific skills and specific tools that you really need to understand as a security analyst or incident responder or threat hunter, whatever it is. It goes in depth into all of these skills. The CYC Plus doesn't cover, you know, how to use Splunk. It doesn't cover how to. It covers how to use Fireshark, I guess, but it doesn't come with labs. Um, you know, the Bootstrap One covers Yara, covers PowerShell commands, um, command line commands. Uh, forensics, like an in-depth, you know, view into forensics, memory forensics, disk, disk forensics. The the CYC Plus covers some forensic topics, but not at the depth of this platoon level one, and at the practicality of the platoon level one. So, once again, I'll, I'll iterate that this platoon level one is way better than the CYC Plus. Highly recommended um, over the CYC Plus. Not to say the CYC Plus is bad, but just to show you, like in comparison. Uh, cost wise, um, applicability wise, HR wise, I guess as well. Uh, the Blue Team Level One is way better. It's it's gonna help you better in interview situations for like for second analyst positions uh, rather than a CYC Plus. What you learn because you you have those practical skills that are ingrained in your brain and your your hands because you can you can do them on demand. So that's it. That's it for today's video. Uh, if you like this video, please be sure to smash the like button. If you're new to subscribe, please be sure to subscribe and. I would appreciate it if you share this video with anyone who you think it would find it valuable. Uh, with that said, once again, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.